Welcome to Greenways Farm, green by name, green by nature. My name is Shelby Tan. I have been farming with my father-in-law Derek Hilton for seven years now. The past two of which we have designed, built and constructed a commercial biogas plant to provide electricity for the farm, the workshop and the two houses. For the past five years we have been collecting chicken litter from the next door neighbour. We were initially just pushing, pushing it out onto the field, but two and a half years ago my father-in-law Derek Hilton suggested that maybe if we digested cattle manure we could produce fuel for cooking for the labour. I cottoned onto this idea and I did a little bit more research and I found out that in the United States, they actually have dairies that produce their own electricity from the cattle manure and provide electricity back into the grid. After a lot of calculations and a lot more research, I found that with the amount of chicken litter we get, we could actually produce 11,000 kilowatt hours of electricity a month. Oh, at present, we only use 4,000 kilowatt hours. So I started off on doing a small pilot plant, three 210 litre gallon drums welded together and I filled it up with chicken litter. After about three or four weeks I started to get gas and I modified a small little camping stove and I invited one of the domestic servants to come and cook a piece of meat. Initially she was a little bit apprehensive but after finding out that the meat tasted just the same they quite cottoned onto the idea and they were soon waiting in a queue to cook with the gas. I then decided that maybe we should go on to a bigger scheme. That is when I approached a tarpaulin company and asked them to make me a 30 cubic meter digester, as similar to the one here. That was filled with chicken litter and I used a 5,000 litre Jojo tank and two and a half thousand litre Jojo tank as my carrying. I then managed to run a small Honda motor on it which ran fine with absolutely no ugly fumes or, or sour odours. That worked very well and we decided to go bigger and we went to another 11 of these digesters which will now power the farm. As you can see, they are solar heated, which helps keep the temperature up at 38 degrees, which is perfect for digesting the chicken litter. The sound you hear now is the gas actually being produced and pushed through this water filter. This water filter extracts the carbon dioxide from the methane, essentially making it a sweeter gas. I've actually managed to compress the gas. Uh, methane is not easily compressible, but I compressed a 45 kilogram uh, gas bottle, which my father-in-law managed to use in his natural gas stove in the house, which, uh, although that only lasted for about three hours. Once the chicken litter is inside these digesters, it'll consistently produce gas between 60 and 90 days, at which point in time I will drain off the old effluent, spread it on the field and refill with fresh chicken litter. It comes through the, through the water filter out into two gas carrying bags which are attached to the generator. These are the gas carrying bags and as you can see the pipe leads into the generator room which feeds the generator. Um, I will start up the generator and I'll show you. It's a combination of biodiesel and biogas. We have now started pur purchasing biodiesel because of the fluctuating oil price and also because it's cleaner to the environment. All of the vans and the tractors run on 
straight B100 by diesel. So we figured it would be the best solution to run the generator on biodiesel as well as biogas. Although you can convert a normal petrol motor to run on biogas, we chose a diesel because it was available at the time. I'll now explain to you what I'm going to do. I'll do a practical demonstration of how the biogas feeds the motor and how it runs. You'll be able to see as soon as I switch off the gas supply, the motor will start to stutter and stall and there will not be enough diesel to sustain it running. So that will be an indication of how much biogas is substituting the diesel fuel. This is where the biogas is fed into the motor. It is fed, we have a solenoid switch so that if the oil pressure drops below a certain level, it will cut the biogas supply which will cause the, the motor to stop, so, and thus preventing it from an expensive failure. It goes into the air filter, uh, air filter and intake manifold where it is mixed and then it is burnt, it's essentially an explosive mixture. So you will see how this runs when I start it up now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut off the gas supply and you will hear how the motor will finally stutter and stop. Thus, the gas being used is enough to run the motor. Being a farmer, it's all about cutting costs. And this is definitely cost cutting, producing electricity in an environmentally friendly manner, as well as still providing good fertilizer for our soils. So our children will have a better place to live in when they grow up.